As pastor of St. Agnes, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the St. Agnes Centennial Ball and School Reunion. I'm sure many of us never expected to see this day, but it has finally come, 100 years of celebration. I'd like to welcome all the people who went to St. Agnes when it had a school. We are privileged to have here some of the sisters who worked here, who taught in the school and had such an influence on so many of our parishioners, people who treasure their years here at our elementary school and have never forgotten that experience. So we welcome the sisters in a special way. I'd like to welcome to the priests. And uh, the people who live in this parish, the, especially the older parishioners who have seen this parish um, grow to what it is today. And I'd also like to welcome all those who come from afar, who have roots here, perhaps grew up here, were born here and baptized, made the First Communion. Perhaps even got married here. And all those who are still living in this parish and are here tonight to celebrate 100 years of uh, St. Agnes as a parish, as a school, and as a community. The church has a very big impact on the people because it's the only church in San Diego that provides a mass in Portuguese and services in Portuguese. And especially among the older people, that is very important. Uh, the language has been a, a tremendous help. And then the cultural and religious celebrations like the Festa and the Christmas celebrations, uh, it has kept the people together. Uh, it draws them back, even though they, they live in other parts of the city. They, it's, it's like a spiritual home to, to the people, St. Agnes. It's, it's their church, in a way. Hi, my name is Vilmira Gonzalez. I've been here in this parish since 1930. It's a long time, and I saw the church being built. And then in 1933, I got married in this church. When Monsignor Forstel came to this parish, he introduced the Legion. The Legion is a, a, an organization that everybody should belong to. It's a very nice organization. They visit the sick, we say the rosary, we pray. It's a very, very rewarding. I hope everybody enjoys the evening, have a good time, and go home safely. God bless you. My fondest memories of uh, St. Agnes is, of course, when uh, we had the school. Uh, it was my second home. I was a fixture at the school. I uh, taught physical ed and I coached. And I substitute uh, teaching at the time. And uh, it was, uh, I loved it because uh, I, I volunteered and uh, they kept me busy. But to this day, I meet people on the street and they remember those days. I uh, still uh, am uh, considered coach. <laughs> and that, I guess, will stay with me with the, for the rest of my life. Always had a nice choir. Then, of course, we. We got our beautiful Portuguese choir too, and we're very fortunate to have two beautiful choirs like we do have. Well, St. Agnes Paris is special for me because I, I was 
first of all, I was born here. And this is the church that I've been going to uh, basically all my life. I, I'm partial to the, the organ and the, and the choirs we have, which I think just makes, uh, uh, separates it from uh, the rest of the churches I've been to. I was sent here by Bishop Leo T. Maher as a deacon in 1971. I have many memories and experiences that I continue to ponder in my mind as I hope you do. I hope my five years in Point Loma somehow helped in those hundred years to catch faith, to share faith, family, a sense with the Portuguese as well as the Anglo people and all others to celebrate in festas, to be part of whatever was going on at the Church of St. Agnes. Something that I will always treasure is I won the heart of the Portuguese families in Point Loma. It's not easy. Uh, when you come from out of the language and out of the culture. So you can learn the language, but you do have to eat lapis, you have to eat caramujo, you have to eat uh, polvo and langosta and lots of things. And you, I've uh, drunk the local brew, and it's, trust me, it's... Uh, a very strong local brew that's kept in sacred barrels by the uh, older Portuguese men in the village it was then. So today with fond memories and still some warm relationships, I salute all of you on this, the 100th anniversary of faith that has been caught and faith that was shared over the many, many years of family and food and festas and fellowship. And it is all to your credit that you have passed the faith on to the generations after yourselves. Indeed, congratulations.